What's going on, boys? It's, uh, Daddy Big here. And, uh, you know, a as all of you know, one kind of theme I've been working up is that, um, you know, just for the first time, I just tr that, um, you know, have a new map on the channel that I'm not familiar with. I'll just, I'll just give it a, sh give it a run. And, um, I did play a little bit of Moon when I, um, when I did my <laughs> Moon, but if I see the astronaut, then the video ends. But, um, you know, now we're just going to be playing Moon. We're just going to be giving it a shot, so. I have played a bit of Moon on Chronicles, but really not on Black Ops 1, pretty much at all. So, we're going to, you know, we're going we're gonna to give it a run. I do know a little bit about how the hacker works and that kind of business, but it's going to be some first for me, so we'll give it a run. Alright boys, so we got Speed Cola as our um first perk here. I think that's okay. I don't think we need to grab Jug. I think we'll just rack up some points and then be on our merry way. Okay, well, I think we're gonna fly the coop, grab the M14 real quick, and be on our merry way. He's dead. You know, it would be nice if the astronaut and moon gave you literally anything for killing him, but it's just me. Oh wow, this is just this is just straight up abnormal. Don't kill me. Okay, let's see here. Oh lord, I just died. <sighs> Is that how it's gonna be? Is that really... Alright, well you know, I'm sure I'm gonna end up doing a second game anyway, so we'll just take that L. And uh, be, as I've said, be on our merry way. Anyways, I was just saying, I don't know exactly how it works. But I think that, um... I think that, you know, you can use explosives to, like, decompress certain parts of the map. And I don't know if I did that when I was firing my, my Mustang and Sally. I really don't, so... That's whatever, I guess. Alright, let's see. We made it to the, uh, pyramid area, right? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's see. Got power. That's nice. Still can't hear a gosh darn thing. Just still strange. The real question is if I'm going to get the hacker. As of now, I don't think so. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh my gosh, who thought who thought bringing them back another time was a good idea? And I'm about to die. I died. <laughs> oh my god. Who thought bringing back Nova crawlers that teleport was was even in any sense a good idea. Oh my lord. <sighs> okay. Here, boys. Jug. You know what? I think this, this round we are going to try and get Jug off the gate. Because that, you know, with the anti-gravity and such, it seems as though you kind of just need it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness. Don't kill me. Please. Alright boys, well we are copping our juggernog. And just like that, we are on our merry way to the moon. You know, I think that's really the way to do it. You know? Because now I'm feeling pretty darn secure. And I'm sure, I'm positive that nothing could go wrong to change that. <laughs> now boys, I think moon is a really interesting map. Because, um, obviously it's more of a bigger... It's almost... It's one of the... It's like kind of it has an inkling of like the be, the beginnings of like the Black Ops 3 style quest map, right? With the, how expansive and how much stuff there is to do, you know. But it's interesting because it still is very much so a Black Ops 1 map. And I would say one thing that's a trademark of Black Ops 1 is that you really need luck in order to make your run good, like box luck, you know. I would say that's one thing that is kind of a signature of Black Ops 1, signature flavor. Because, uh, you know, unlike, you know, because, like, in the Black Ops 3 quest maps, like, Darius and Drac, Shadows, Zetsubo, all of those maps, even, like, something like Origins and Mob of the Dead, you can get the Wonder Weapon by doing a quest, right? It requires knowledge. But, um, in, in a map like this, you, um, have to get your Wonder Weapon from the box and get lucky. And I guess that actually means that Gorod Krovi is truly, like, a callback to the old days. In a sense. 
We're going to give that bad boy a spin right quick. Ooh, Gersh devices. That's really nice, actually. All right, CZ. That's not. That's honestly not that bad. CZ seventy five. I I I I I mess with that. You know what I mean? And you know, honestly, it is kind of a very Black Ops one strategy to go for the um, pack a punching the M nineteen eleven just because there's so much PhD. But honestly, I think that you know, thinking ahead, right? Because of the fact that Moon had, like, the high round strategy doesn't really involve the Mustang and Sally, and plus it'll decompress parts of the map. I think I'm gonna save that perk slot and not get um, Mustang and Sally. Which is nice, because that means I'll be able to get ten two weapons right now. And just like that, Susie is gone. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to take those. Dude, you're joking. QEDs? I don't want those. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're gonna throw one. Oh, it just killed them. Okay. Dude, I'm so mad. I didn't even... Like, I saw them and my brain registered, don't take it, but it knocked fast enough to stop my... stop the motor function from happening. Dra dragging off. More like dragging these balls on your mouth! Ray gun. Well, I don't know if I want that, because won't that decompress the map? Or is that just grenades? Oh, uh, commando, though. Now, this thing. The commando is easily... This is not just your standard assault rifle. This is not just your white bread of ARs. This is no malnutritious baguette. This, no sourdough, no, <laughs> this is 100% whole wheat goaded gamer bread right here. Bonus points if you know what I was referencing <laughs> with the bread monologue. Bonus points. Tell me in the comments. We got M. Anthony, Mark Anthony. I love that guy. He was my favorite person in, he was my favorite in the, the Shakespeare play. Caesar, whatever, I don't know. I remember in my high school English class, I would, I would, um, whenever we would act out the play, I would always do Mark Anthony. And I remember that I would read him in the voice of Dedu from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And that's just, it's just really funny to me. All right. <laughs> well, we are going to be heading out. Does that mean something's being excavated? I told you to turn subtitles on. I might have to turn voice volume up. Oh yeah, I just got the very end of the voice line. I'm gonna need to grab- I don't know how many rounds I have of leeway, but I need to grab the- Oh, 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 Yeah. I just- I just now have realized that I'm playing Takio. I would not have known. But that was a clutch, as- as the gaming would say. And, um, this is just the beginning. we should probably go grab the hacker and go back to Earth and do all that garbage. This is like the first time I've heard OG Takalai in my life. Let's see here. So, I'm trying to grab the hacker real quick. Oh, there it is. Takio just asked if it's a square of boomerang. <laughs> this dude's stupid. I almost, like, here's the thing. Obviously, I never play with audio, with, like, game audio on. Just because, you know. Oh, don't kill me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna perish. Dude. Running short on the press. Okay. That was intense. We're gonna open this door. So the biodome is being decompressed. And I think if we go hack the excavator, it'll stop it? I don't know how this map works, dog. But I don't want the biodome to go away. Oh, no, don't take- don't take me through there. I wanna do the thing. 
Where's the console I need to hack? It's this one. How does this... What is even going on? Dude. Takio is breathing heavily right now. Don't kill me. Dude, where is the console? Does it even make a difference at this point? I think I'm just screwed. Either way. Oh my lord, I just decompressed this room. Where's where's the PES? I think I kind of need it at this point. <laughs> Boys, this is dumb. Oh my lord, I just... <laughs> this is going so awesome. I'm having such a great time. So now we go through the amazing, fun process of going back, <laughs> going back to Earth to get Jug. Which luckily, that's going to be the spawn we have right now. But, alright boys, so we're going to be heading back to Earth now. For better or for worse. Oh, that's a door that cost me money. Okay. Oh, I can't go back. That's excellent. <laughs> it's, in fact, it's my favorite thing. How do I get over there? Dude, I have so many questions. Including but not limited to, why can't I teleport back to Earth? Where is the last zombie? And why did Treyarch think this map was a good idea? I've literally just been wandering around the entirety of Moon, looking for one last zombie. Dude, there's just a random crawler. I've been to this- <laughs> oh my god, you're joking. That's so stupid. You dare touch Takio? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I love Moon so much. Come on, boys, we're gonna give it one last shot because I want to actually play the game. And that's a reason. <laughs> Alright, boys, we got 3k. We got enough for Juggernog and a quick revive. So we are heading out. I love how, you know, early game in Moon, you got your Jug, you got your quick revive, and everything feels like it's just gonna be amazing. Okay, so I gotta take note. There's two excavator thingies by this door, and one of them in the middle over here. Those are th important details. Because, you know, I don't want the map to be decompressed. I just don't. Just, you know, I don't know about you, but I just don't want major physics changes happening to my zombies map. Dude, Richtofen is literally insane. I am not going to die on round two. It's just simply not going to happen. Richtofen just commented on Earth Rises. Which is supposed to be funny, and it would be if you could see the skyline from here, but you can't. <laughs> oh man, the Cosmonaut is just like the IRS. No matter how much you shoot, they just keep coming back. Alright boys, let's see here. We got a fat spin of the box on deck. And there we go. Dude. I keep getting the ray gun. I don't know if it does the decompressy thing. I don't know. But honestly, I don't trust it. I don't I just don't trust it. Dude, why what is it with tunnel 11 and getting excavated? I was excavating your mom last night, you know what I'm saying? Ballistic knife, bro. I okay, here's the thing. I don't trust the ray gun right, so we're going to hard pass on that. But RPK again, I'll take that. And Tunnel 11, wherever that is, is about to be decompressed. So we should probably go get that taken care of. And the astronaut's back. He's back. Why not? I love him. Boys, do we stand the cosmonaut? Yes or no? So I think that we might be beyond the point. I think that a Tunnel 11, wherever that is, is ki might be beyond saving. But I'm not sure. Because I just got another voice line about it. Alright boys, we are grabbing the hacker. And I think we are going to try and go hack the console. Alright. 
Let's see here. No, I keep doing that. Give me back up. Give me back up. All right. It's this one. It's this one. It's this one. I don't have much time. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I did it. I did it. I did it. All right, boys. We did it. We actually hacked it. I feel so accomplished. See, the, th <laughs> the first time what my problem was is I had the right idea, but I forgot that you need to hold out the hacker to hack things. So, I feel an incredible sense of accomplishment now. I did it. Boys, we are playing Moon. All right, boys. So, I'm thinking that maybe I could go pack a bunch of my RPK at some point. Because this thing is definitely a, a pretty solid weapon. Dude, this guy just keeps coming back. He's a become he's proving himself to be a serious bother, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm hearing power-up noises and I just remembered, isn't it a thing that like power-ups just like spawn in the areas where you like go between the bounce pads? I think that might be a thing, but I'm not sure. Moon is one of those maps where like it's really fun. Like, when you're not dealing with its garbage. You know what I mean? Dude, would it have hurt of the developers to make the Cosmo not do anything useful? Like, I know that he does a little explosion that can kill some zombies. But, like, could we please make him drop a power-up? One. One power-up. Is that too much to ask? Like, Brutus is a cunt, right? But at least he gives you something. I don't know. So, boys, I don't know exactly how hacking the box works. I know you can do it, but honestly, I'm not comfortable with doing so. We are just gonna just do some classic box spinning. <laughs> that's a good one. That's, that's funny. So, boys, I have no idea where the box is, and it seems like there isn't a light to indicate where the box is either. So, I don't know. We're just going to go look for it, I guess. This part of the map has no air in it. For some reason. And I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, Moon is so confusing. Why don't I have any oxygen in this part? Even the box is nowhere. It's literally not anywhere, bro. You're telling me the box was in the biodome the whole time? Wow. Wow, that's bothersome. <laughs> that's peeving. You know what? I guess we're just gonna... <laughs> Dude, I'm so mad it was in the biodome the whole time. Well, you know what? These are just the fun things that happen when you try out a map for the first time. <laughs> the thing that's frightening me right now is that I have legitimately no idea whether or not I'm gonna ha have Jug as the perk machine when I go back to Earth for the first time. So boys, things might look bleak, and to be frank, they definitely are. But <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna claw and scratch our way back to the top. You know what I mean? I believe I believe in us. I I do. All we gotta do is just train in like the biggest area known to man for a few rounds and then just get jug back. No biggie. Ooh, fire sail. Animax ammo. That's pretty tight. I shall my we have to be careful, though. I'll hit the box, but I'm not trying to die. Gersh's. Dude, dude. Why would you do that? Dude! Oh my god! I got moon, bro. Oh my god. That's so disappointing. That's messed up. That is messed up, is what that is. Oh my god. Well, you know what? <laughs> I gotta say, honestly, moon has left me intrigued. And, um, it certainly is... It certainly makes itself a pain in the ass sometimes. But that's just how it goes. Case boys, 
Uh, I want to make more moon stuff because moon's fun. Bye.